In this lesson, we are going to learn how to design the shear wall using the general reinforcing method. This method allows us to add hidden columns in the shear walls, and e tabs take their effect in design besides the uniform distributed rivers. The hidden column length should be between 2t and l divided by 5, where t is the shear wall width and l is the shear wall length. Also, the reinforcement ratio should be between 1% and 2.5%. Now, I am going to design this shear wall using this method. So, go to shear wall design, then select define general beer sections. Name it B3 star. Select the material C30. And here we have two options. The first option allows us to draw from scratch a new wall section using the section design, but I will talk about section design later in detail. So I am going to choose the second option, which allows us to take a copy of an existing shear wall so that I could modify it. And here is the story that contains the shear wall. I am going to select the story one. And here is the peer level. And as you can see, our shear wall has a peer level P3. So I am going to select the P3 level. Next, click on the section designer to modify it. As a result, ETABS has opened the section designer. And here is our wall with dimension 3500 by 350. But as you can see, the section designer has drawn the shear wall in the X direction. But in our model, the shear wall is in the Y direction. But that is not important because we are working on local axis 2 and local axis 3. So it is important that the shear wall is in axis 2 direction. And that is what has happened here, so it's okay for now. Next, I am going to delete the existing river, which is uniformly distributed, to add a new river. So right click on the shear wall. And here in the reinforcing panel, choose no. Then click OK. Next, I am going to add two hidden columns in the corners. And to do that, go to the draw menu, rebar shape. Here you can find the different types of shapes. So I am going to choose the rectangle bar. Then click on an empty place. Next, I need to modify the column dimension to meet these requirements. For the width, I need to set it to be 35 cm. And for the length, I will set it to 70 cm. Also, I need to move it to the shear wall edge. So, to do that, right click on it. And here is all specification. Change the material type to T400. Also, in the geometry panel, we can find its dimension, where the height is its dimension in the y direction, and the width is its dimension in the x direction. So I am going to change them to 35 cm subtracted by the clear cover, and 70 cm subtracted by the clear cover. Also, here is the rebar, you can change it directly from here. But I'm going to show you another method. The last thing about this form is the location. The Y center will be the shear wall thickness divided by 2. And the X direction will be the column length divided by 2. Now click OK. So as you can see, the column has been placed. Next, I am going to change the river. So I need to add a river with bar equal to 19 and the spacing equal to 150 mm. First I am going to change the edge bars. So right click on any of them. Here in this form you can change the river properties. So change the bar size to 18 and the spacing to 150 mm. Activate apply for all edge option to apply this setting to all edges one time. Then click OK. As you can see, it has changed the bar size 
hands is missing for all edge bars. I am going to do the same for the corner bar. So right click on one of them, then choose E team for the reverse size. Also activate this option, then click OK. Next, I need to draw the other edge column by this way, or I can mirror the column. So select it, then go to Edit, Replicate, go to Mirror, then click on General Line. Here for X1, set it to the wall length divided by 2, and set the same value for X2. Then click OK. Now I have finished drawing the hidden columns. Next, I am going to draw the inform river. So go to the river menu, river shape, then choose rectangle bar. Right click on it to display its properties. Then change the material type to T400. Change its height to 350, subtracted by 50. And for the width, set it to the wall length, subtracted by 2 times of the column length, subtracted by 2 times of the river spacing, plus 100. Also, for the location in the x direction, set it to the wall height, divided by 2, and in the y direction, Set it to the wall width, divided by 2. Then click OK. As you can see, the bars are well placed. Next, I need to change the bar size. So, right click on the edge bar. Then, change the bar size to 14. And this basing to 150. Also, activate this option, then click OK. Also, right click on the corner bars and change their size also. Now, I don't need these two bars, so right click on them, and set the number to zero. Then click OK. Now I have finished, so I am going to assign this section to the shear wall. First, go to the elevation view, select the section 7, to display the shear wall section. Next, I am going to assign this section to shear wall located in the story from the story 1 to the story 7. So select them. Then go to shear wall design. Assign beer section. And this time select the general reinforcing. Here you can see the shear wall section that we have just defined. So select it at the bottom and also at the top. Here select reinforcement to be checked, then click OK. Now click on the shear wall design. Now I need to display the interaction surface values. So go to the shear wall design, then click on display design info. In design output, Choose Beer DC Ratio. Then click OK. As you can see, the ratio is less than 1 in all stories. Also, you can right click on any of them to display the design detail sheet, like what we did before in the previous lesson. Now it is the end of our lesson, and thank you for watching.